Hello, Lima. I am Tom Letterer, and I am greeting you from my home in the Bay Area of California. I only wish that we could meet in person in Lima, a city I've often wanted to visit and have never been to. I'm looking forward to speaking with you uh, in a few weeks and telling you about some of my experiences overseas. But first, let me give you some background. I was born and raised here in San Francisco, went through all through school, uh, public schools, and then to college, and graduated from college in 1967. At that time, it was necessary for me to make some major decisions about my life, and I decided to join the Peace Corps. And they accepted me and assigned me to go to Somalia, a country that at that time very few people knew anything about or had even heard of. In the middle of June of 1967, a group of us boarded a plane, and two days later, after having stopped in Rome and Khartoum, we landed in Mogadishu, Somalia. After I was there for a few days, I got on a truck and, and was taken out to the middle of Somalia to a town called Baidoa, and then from there, eight hours later, I was in Luke Ganana, where I spent two school years. I, after that, I spent six months in Mogadishu doing teacher training. The whole time I was in Somalia, I was a teacher. I was teaching primarily English as a foreign language, but I taught other subjects as well. But after two and a half years in a military coup in Somalia, when we were kicked out, um, I returned to the States. In any case, I would like to talk to you uh, about Somalia. And I'm hoping, the purpose of my talk, I'm hoping, is to dispel some notions about Somalia that people have from lots of very unfortunate news that has made the headlines over the last number of years. News about pirates, news about Muslim extremists, news about Al-Shabaab, news about terrorism and bombing, all of which may be true, but there's another side of Somalia that I would like to show you. And I will show you pictures that I took back then. I've not been back since. Uh, and tell you a little bit of what I know, of what's going on there now, what life is like for them, uh, for people in Somalia now. It's somewhat changed since I was there 50 years ago. In any case, I look very much forward to talking with you. I wish we could meet in person, but uh, I, I'm glad I can have the chance to share uh, some of my experiences with you. Feel free to come with questions uh, about uh, what I did there and what life was like there. See you soon. Bye-bye.